Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson with FreedomOutpost.com and Truth Movement. I would like to say a personal and special thank you to LBGT, GLAD, and a and &E. I'll explain to you why. I am a Christian and the great news is anyone who is a Christian knows that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. LGBT, GLAD, and A&E &E did the opposite of what they intended. God has a funny way of working that out. So, what do I mean by that? I'll tell you. Duck Dynasty normally has 14, anywhere from 9 to 14 million viewers. GQ Magazine, I'm not sure of their statistics, but doesn't normally have but a specific set of viewers or readers if you will so when LGBT and GLAD created the stir over this supposed attack on homosexuality when they know it's a lie and they're trying to use it to further their agenda they actually furthered the Word of God and for that I want to say thank you where normally Christianity is not on the mainstream media anymore. Where normally the Word of God is not being quoted on mainstream media anymore. Because of LGBT, GLAD, and A&E's decision to wrongfully fire Phil Robertson, and I'll explain that in a minute, they have created a mainstream media madness all out pretty much attack on Phil Robertson for quote unquote attacking homosexuality now the reality is much of the mainstream media is telling lies they're not quoting the entire article nor are they letting people know that he was answering a specific question that was related to what do you think is sin he did not just quote homosexuality. The fact of the matter is, there are tons of sins, and all sin is equal in God's eyes. Christians do not hate homosexuals. They hate the sin and not the sinner. I personally, I have quite a few friends that are homosexual. We get along just fine. If they ask me a question, I'm going to answer it. Do they take offense at it? No. So instead of reaching 14 million Duck Dynasty fans with the Word of God, and I would dare say 80% of them are already Christians, which means instead of Phil preaching to the choir, you've just opened up to the entire United States via your mainstream media, and your little temper tantrum to over 340 million people. Now that is just here in the United States. Not including, this hasn't just gone nationwide, it's gone worldwide. So these individuals who are hearing all of these different mainstream media points and I am talking about homosexuals who are hearing for the first time that it is a sin. Because there's a lot of homosexual individuals out there who've been lied to even by quote unquote religious leaders. And because of that, because they are smart individuals, they will go to the GQ article. And GQ will not only have more readers than they've had probably in mass amount of years but these individuals will read the entire article instead of the portions that you choose to pull out to try to make it seem like Phil Robertson is homophobic or racist. Now the great thing about that is the actual scripture he quoted actual scripture so what's going to happen? 
These individuals who have been lied to and told that it was not sin are going to go into the Bible and they are going to look and see, is he telling the truth or is he lying? So instead of reaching 14 or 15 million people, you have just helped to spread God's word to people around the globe. For that LGBT, GLAD, and a and &E, I thank you. Because even though things may seem one way, in reality, it's not. All things, and our Christians need to remember this, all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. And because Phil Robertson stood on what he believed and quoted the word of God along with it, it has now not only created a national awareness, it has brought out the word of God proving that it is a sin because man can say what they want. Any man can tell you this or any man can tell you that. But the word of God doesn't change. That is what you need to rely on. Not some man trying to make you comfortable in saying, well, no, this is not a sin and this is not a sin. But the best thing about this is it is also uniting Christians along with homosexuals because the LGBT and GLAD and A&E are attacking Phil Robertson for stating his belief, for stating what he believes. And the reason these people are standing with Phil, it's not because they necessarily agree with what Phil said. It's because supposedly LGBT and GLAD and the whole homosexual movement believe strongly in freedom of expression, in the right to express what you believe, even if somebody else doesn't agree with that. And that right there is uniting people that you, LGBT, tried to use for your agenda. That you tried to falsely say you were standing for. And I can say with certainty, you do not speak for all the homosexual community. Because I know plenty of people that are in the homosexual community that absolutely detest you using their sexual beliefs and what they stand for as your excuse to be try to hinder someone else speaking out about what they believe. They're actually pretty angry. I've received I can't tell you how many emails. They're outraged that you would dare use them to further an agenda when that is not what they stand for. So although you pretend that you stand for the entire homosexual community, community we all know that that is not so. And there are many people within the homosexual community gay, lesbian, straight, bisexual standing with Phil Robertson. And they're doing so along with the Christians, atheists, and anything you can possibly imagine for the different groups. And the reason they're standing is because what you wanted to divide is a core belief within every one of us that are United States American citizens. And that is the right to speak out for what you believe without being punished for it. Those individuals realize that if they allow this to stand, one day this will happen to them. 
And when this happens to them, it has then become okay for the quote-unquote mainstream media and A&E to hinder what someone believes and not be able to speak out because it's not politically correct. And that is a dangerous, dangerous precedent. And the reason that I say that is, you know, and I'm going to be fair here, there are a lot of programs on mainstream media that I do not agree with that are personally, you know, on a personal level, they offend me because they go against every bit of my Christian values. Do I, what do I do? Do I make a nationwide upburst? No. I turn the channel. There are many programs that promote the homosexual community. Do I throw a fit about that? No. I turn the channel. Because there may be others who do want to watch that. And that is the great thing about freedom of speech But understand this. Do your research on the Muslim community. Overseas, the Muslims kill gays for believing that they are gay. So what happens when the Muslim community starts coming out and speaking out against LGBT or any programs that are gay that is on A&E? Will A&E then, because of pressure from the Muslim community, pull the gay programs? I would say if there was enough pressure, they would. Because that's exactly what they just did. So even if you believe in homosexuality or not, you are creating a precedent for destroying your own rights. Good night and God bless. And thank you, LGBT, GLAD, and A&E for making truth a worldwide discussion. God bless you.